Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more XCOM 2 with Covert Infiltration. So, I'm going to do one last supply raid to get some alloys and alerium because I'm really, really low. I can't really make much more gear. And uh, this doesn't seem too bad, but it is 20 enemies. Anything can be bad at this stage with 20 enemies. And every pod will include a shield bearer. Anyway, here's the squad. We got Roar, Lutherion, Cookies, Alaric, Soto and Denise. Uh, Cookies is only one experience away from a promotion, uh, which is why I brought him, even though uh, Saitani, his body, is currently wounded. Uh, Alaric is not close, but Clara is also wounded, which is why I brought them both. So, let's go then, shall we? I brought one flashbang on the Templar. Let's go. Eliminate any hostile resistance and secure. All right then. A interesting starting position. Oh, I think I know what kind of map this is. Yep. There's nothing down here. Just in the base. So this is not an actual high ground, I'm afraid. Well, all right then. I did bring a battle scanner. I suppose we can just throw one. Not a whole lot of cover I can stand in over here. Any high ground? Yeah, I'm not too happy about this map. So this is the corner. Yeah, let's move in this direction to avoid fighting too many enemies all at once. Here's a pod. Andromedon. Shield bearer, mutant devastator, okay. Yeah, let's just stick to the zone wall. I can make it. And that should be a little bit safer. Go, go, That's go. not quite the move I was going for with the Templar there. Here's some cover. Okay, that'll do. We don't have any enemies too close to us, so this should be safe. And these guys are now moving away. The only problem with this is that I can't really spread out much. So anything that uses an AoE, like an Andromedon, I'll just have to kill it quickly before they get a chance to do just that. As in, blast me with some AoE. Yeah, that's actually a pretty nasty pod right there. And there's really limited amount of cover around here. Yeah, I don't like this map too much. This way. might get a little bit tricky. Alright, let's set up with steady weapon. On a roar. Like so. Yeah, here's some cover, I guess it will have to do. A cookies is a little bit far away. Got it covered. Okay, that will do. Hey, come back here. Uh, this area looks much, much better. I probably want to get over there. Okay, Custodians. Right. Well, I can shoot one right now. I probably should. I don't want to fight more than one pod at a time right now. Then again, uh, there's no timer or anything like that. So I'm not in a huge rush. Only 68% with Dead Eye. Alright, let's just shoot him. Try to crit him. Let's go. And nope, we didn't even hit. That's a bit unfortunate. But alright. I just want to take them out before I have to fight anything else. One more shot with Roar. Killing at least one right now would be good. Yeah, so Alaric is a little bit too far away. Again, I don't want to move too close. This is about as close as I'm willing to go. Yeah, that's not super helpful. I could blast him with a grenade. Which is not a terrible idea, to be honest. Maybe I can hit them both. Okay, let's just blast him with a grenade. That might destroy his cover. Yep. 
and it will make it much easier to take care of the shield bearer. Okay, Soto can take one shot. That'll do. And missed again. What's up with the misses? Not happy about this. Cookies can take a shot, but... Yeah. I guess I'll have to stand over here. How about Blazing Spear? Okay, I can hit them both with Blazing Spear. Let's go with that. I rarely get a chance to use that. And that was pretty nice. And that's his promotion right there. Can I finish all the Custodian? I'm obviously not going to rush in with the Templar. That would be a, an extremely bad idea. And another miss. Okay, I don't think I'll be killing him on this turn. Nope. Not gonna happen. I don't really want to use up my only point of focus right now. No, not really. I'm not going to waste flashbang either. I guess I'll just take a shot with my pistol. <laughs> Didn't expect that to do much. But technically that could have killed him. Okay, yeah, they are coming. Yeah, this is about to get a bit more complicated. I can kill one of the Custodians with Skulljack. The one in the back, if I'm close enough. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Oh yeah, great, more enemies on the left. See, this is exactly what I was trying to avoid, but... I'm basically at the zone wall. Now that flashbang will come in handy. Yeah, this is not good. Not good at all. I can kill the custodian, but... I will be really exposed if I do that. Yeah, even with... Teamwork. How many can I freeze? Okay, that's not too bad. Wait, wasn't the Devastator immune to Frostbomb? No, he wasn't. So I could do something like this. That's one option. I could freeze the guys on the left. They are a little bit too spread out, I think. I also do have Salvo, so I could actually use Shredstorm Cannon first. Yeah, that will be a pretty decent Shredstorm. I wish that mutant on the left was a bit closer. Oh yeah, hold on, I can hit him. Here, this is good. We'll hit the mutant, the shield bearer, archon and the lancer. And blow up their cover. Let's go with that, that's pretty nice. And then we can frost bomb. That's the general idea. So probably these guys. So that I won't have to worry about them. There's that Andromedon in the back. He might use his stupid AoE on me. I don't know if he's close enough to do that move and then use it. I certainly hope not. Uh, let's not use that Frost Bomb yet. I can do that last. We'll see how much damage we're able to do first. I need to think about this. Let's check Roar real quick. Okay, 100... 93... Just checking the health. 80% on the Archon. Let's shoot the Archon here. I was hoping that would hit. But alas. Apparently that was not to be. I definitely need to utilize teamwork here. Okay, let's teamwork Roar. I will not be using the Skulljack. Reload. Reload. I will still shoot the Archon, I think. He has the best chance to kill the Archon. Just don't miss twice in a row. There it is. Got it. What did you expect? Okay. Yeah, with a Frost Bomb, that shouldn't be too bad. I'm only really worried about the Andromedon and his nasty AoE. 
that might complicate things. So, Soto has two shots. Maybe three if I get lucky with her trigger. Let's kill the Muton. So I can kill the Custodian, but there's no real need, because I will be freezing him. We should actually shoot the Shield Bearer, maybe. Because I will not be freezing the Shield Bearer. Just these guys. Let me check again. Yeah, I cannot freeze the Shield Bearer. So I think it's best if we actually shoot the Shield Bearer. I have a chance to kill him, if I do 12 damage. Oh wait, hold on, Sota needs to use the Mimic Beacon. So, right, I can give him teamwork. So, I can give him teamwork and still hit the Custodian. If I want to. Again, there's no real need, because he will be frozen, but I will do some damage and I'll get focus. Or I can use teamwork and then flashbang. I don't think I actually need flashbang in this situation, but maybe, maybe. Well, either way, we will definitely use teamwork here. So let's still show the shield bearer here. I should use either flashbang or mimic beacon, but not both. And yeah, we killed the shield bearer. Very nice shot. I think Mimic Beacon will be better. The downside is that the Andromedon might shoot the Mimic Beacon, do like 9 damage, and then it will go down with one more shot. On the other hand, if these guys on the left go first, it might counter all three of them. I still got Lotharion here, he can kill something. He could actually just use command protocol to make sure he kills something. I wouldn't want to miss. Oh wait, hold on, he will do 4 damage with stock, never mind. Yeah, I'm still thinking about this. I need to move Cookie somewhere. I could move forward to sort of bait the Andromedon. I don't want everyone to stand over here, because if the Andromedon does actually use his AoE on me, everyone here will eat an acid burn and a significant amount of damage. So I obviously don't want that. Yeah, let's just move forward here. Oh, I should have used the Frost Bomb first. Whoops. Wouldn't want to freeze myself. Okay, yeah, it's fine. So how about we chain shot that guy on the left, the Mutant Harrier? A bit risky. Probably better to just take a normal shot. Okay, let's just take a normal shot here. It didn't get him. One HP away. I can finish him off. Well, I could actually use Vault. That's tempting. Also, I can move Soto and then give him Teamwork. I'm pretty close to not even needing that Mimic Beacon. If it wasn't for that Andromedon in the back, I would probably be fine without the Mimic Beacon. Now here's the problem, if I stand over here... Well no, it doesn't actually matter, never mind. Okay, so let's go here and then give ourselves teamwork, like so. And throw that Mimic Beacon, I guess. I would take a shot, but that would end my turn and then I wouldn't have the Mimic Beacon. With one more action, however, I can use Vault. Shame I don't have more than one focus. What can Mutant Harrier do again? Oh yeah, grenade. Yeah, let's kill the Mutant Harrier. I wouldn't want him to grenade my ass. That would be bad. 
And then Lotharion could actually kill the Lancer. Right, there's one more Devastator in the back. Okay, kill the Lancer. There you go. Frost Bomb. And then Mimic Beacon. So this should be fine. There is still a risk that the Andromedon will create the beacon and take it out in one shot and then the other Devastator will be able to do something or other way around. But obviously we're using the Mimic Beacon. This was a pretty good turn, all things considered. That was a lot of enemies. And I really tried to avoid them. I couldn't really have moved much closer to the zone wall there. It was just bad luck in this case. Okay, this is exactly what I wanted. That was exactly my plan, so I'm glad that that worked out. I might want to take out that shield. With that said, I still have to kill all of them. Okay, only the Custodian got the shield. I guess I can just ignore the shield bearer for now. Alright, I think we're going to need a grenade here. Uh, that much is obvious, I think. It really is. Okay, grenade. Let's go, Alaric. And then chain shot. There you go. So, now chain shot. 78%, that's the best one. Okay, let's go. Please make it a good one. Nope. Come on, focus. Well, that was going to happen sooner or later. Honestly, I'm not even that mad. Chain shot has worked out pretty well for me in this campaign. I can use both barrels here. This is all a little bit risky because I'm basically betting on killing most of them here. Okay, let's hit this Custodian in the front. And also the Andromedon and the other Custodian. It's not a lot of damage, but it's something. Advanced stock, chosen information. What chosen information? Oh, great. Okay, come on, man. Now that's just annoying, dude. Alright, don't miss Dead Eye this time around, thanks. There it is, got it. That's how it's done. I'm pretty tempted to try taking over that mech, but it's only 33%. Probably better to shut it down. But if I could take over, that would be amazing. Also, by the way, I am not sure if I can take Adrian Remedon. Yeah, I don't know about that. I really don't know about that. I definitely can't take out the Andromedon and the Devastator. That's just not gonna happen. I cannot do that. I can skull mine him. That's the one way I might be able to take... No, I still can't take out all three if I skull mine the Custodian. The Custodian isn't that much of a problem, to be honest. Okay, hammer shot. Well, I do have a 65% chance to create the Andromedon. Let's try to do that. No? Okay, one more. Yep, one more. Hold on, hold on. Need to think about this. I wish I had more tools here. One thing that might work is area suppression, but... They are a little bit too spread out. I still don't have chain shot on cookies, so I can use that. But he can't really go into cover or anything like that. He can go like here, basically. And that's it. Obviously, the Devastator will be flanking me like that. Yeah, 53% with chain shot, that's really, really low. This is tough. I can teamwork Roar. I think it's pretty obvious I have to. So, teamwork. 
All right, there are. You better not miss this one. What do I shoot then? Well, I can try to shoot the Devastator here. <sighs> this is tough. I wish I had uh, some AoE here, but unfortunately I do not. Alright, let's shoot the Andromedon. Let's check our chance to take over the shell. 42% chance to control. That's still kind of low, not gonna lie. But it would be amazing if it worked. I will not supercharge it because I don't have failsafe. I might actually try that. I'm actually considering it. The downside is that I'm basically wasting a potential 15 to 17 damage. So if it fails, that's a complete waste of an action. And I would not be happy about this. If I'm going to use Chain Shot, I should use Chain Shot on the Andromedon shell here. Okay, let's do that. That's the best chance to kill it in one single action here. Got it. Okay. By the numbers. Now I can move. No hay problema. Now what? I don't think I want to stay out here with parry. That seems way too risky. No, I don't want to do that. Yeah, the problem is that I can't really kill that Devastator. I can, kind of. So this would have to hit. And then Roar could maybe kill it. But this is 15 damage minimum. Yeah, okay, it would work if I hit this. I really don't want this dude to like blast me from the flank, so let's try to kill him. Okay, good. Now Roar can finish the job. Just don't miss, buddy. 4% chance to miss. You better not do this to me. Got it. Okay. So this should be fine. But I'll have to do a lot of damage on the next turn. Hey, that's a bit rude. Shield bearer, two shield bearers. Here comes the mech. Yeah, he's a big boy. But he's mostly close range. He has like a flamethrower and a shotgun and some other stuff. So he's not super dangerous from very far away. Yeah, right here. And that's his abilities. He has a shotgun attack that ignores armor, shields, and cover defense bonuses. So this part is dangerous. But he's mostly dangerous from relatively close range. Still, uh, that is a lot of health. That is a lot of health between these two guys. I'm not even sure if I can do this much. I can if I use both barrels. So I think I'll have to utilize both barrels. And the shield bearer is on overwatch because he's an asshole. Apparently. <sighs> Alright, well. Reload. I used my chain shot, so that's not available anymore. I might just try to shut him down here. I know it's tempting to try to control him, but shutting him down for one turn would be really, really helpful right now. Uh, let's maybe heal up first. Yeah, Alaric took a nasty hit to the face. Don't die on me, buddy. Okay, let's try to shut him down. That's not guaranteed to work either, but it's a better chance. Try to not fail, thanks. Yep, got it. Okay, good. I feel a little bit safer now. I'm in.
Now we have to kill the Castorian. Okay, I'm not too worried about the shield birds. That's not really a problem. So let's maybe save both barrels for the next turn. There's no real need to use it right now, I don't think so. Good to go. Yeah, we'll hit the Castorian with cookies first to shred him. Yeah, my chance to hit him will not be very high because he has a high defense bonus. But we should have enough firepower. And Soto will have, yeah, 100 because of his aim. He can almost finish the job on his own here. Yep. Oh yeah, Heart Trigger, nice. He's not dead yet. Okay. Oh hey, I have 91% uh, on the military assault mech with both barrels. But it wouldn't be very efficient to do this right now. Oh yeah, I can get a kill uh, for my Templar here. Okay, let's just do that. And trigger that overwatch. Then I could even stay here with parry. That's probably fine. <laughs> nice laser side, bro. Yeah, it's probably fine. It's just two shield birds in the back. We'll see. I could actually shoot one of the shield birds. Uh, it's 38%. That's pretty bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I can still try. Okay, Alaric should actually shred the mech. So let's do that. I did shut it down, but I still have to take it out on the next turn, you know? Yeah, probably best if I back up here. No need to risk taking damage. I can still try to shoot that one shield bearer, but that's unlikely to succeed. Just shoot the mech. You know, I almost have enough damage to kill it. I could actually kill it. That's the irony. I didn't actually need that shutdown. I underestimated my damage. Let's use this opportunity to reload, actually. Because we're not done yet. Okay. Well, I'm glad he has two armor, and that's helpful. Yeah, they both hit him. That's slightly obnoxious, but alright. I guess we'll heal him up again. And probably heal Lotharion. I don't want to risk Lotharion getting killed. I don't want to risk anyone getting killed. We'll see. We still got nine enemies remaining. So we're definitely not done. Okay, I do have a hail of bullets, so I can use that to take out the shield bearer on the left. Yeah, this guy. Let's just go with that. Only the best. Okay. I don't want to move too much just yet with this mech up. Just take it out. Who wants the kill? <laughs> It doesn't really matter that much. Uh, Rory is actually getting pretty close to a promotion. Yeah, he's not too far away from a promotion. But he could try to shoot the shield bearer. Nah, that's not gonna work. Just kill the mech. That'll do. By the numbers. Now the shield bearer probably can't kill him. But maybe... I'm not close enough to attack him with the Templar. There's barely any cover I can use out here. Hmm, I wonder why. Alright, well, we might as well shoot him, right? It's always stock damage. I got nothing. It's just one shield bearer. He might actually run away. Yeah, he will run away. Now we need to move into proper cover. <laughs> Let's move towards that building, shall we? Maybe we can use that high ground. 
would be nice. Maybe I can still catch the shield bearer, but that seems unlikely. No, probably not. Okay, let's just play it safe here. I'll move a little and just overwatch. I still have one more battle scanner. We might as well just throw it, right? Here. He was running in that general direction. Okay, that revealed absolutely nothing whatsoever. Okay, let's be careful to not trigger anything here. Heading out. Yeah, Roar should move further ahead, actually. Overwatch just in case something or someone shows up. Okay, looks good. We got seven enemies remaining. I definitely want to use this high ground. But first, let's move everyone towards the building. Yeah, yeah, let's just play it safe. I'm not going to rush when there's no timer to be worried about. Got it, moving. Uh, that's not quite what I wanted, but all right. Getting it done. Just move everyone into cover here. There you go. Glad Some overwatch be. would still be useful. I think that's everyone. Okay, overwatch. No yeah, they have to be pretty close, probably like over here. I think they were just outside of my battle scanner's detection radius. So now we can move up. Let's see if that triggered anything. If not, I can move more people to the high ground. Okay, yeah, we're good. We can move more people. Uh, I guess I can just grapple up here. If I grapple here, that will probably trigger them. You know what? I can just stay down here and grapple up on the next turn, once we start fighting them. I will keep steady weapon that way. That seems like the best option, actually. So let's move people up. Uh, Cookies needs to reload. So we'll reload. Okay, reload. Soto. Okay, Templar up here. Power guide me. I can dash. Okay, let's just dash up here. And that's going to be it. Overwatch with the Lotharion. I should probably heal him. He has two more charges left. Okay, so now when I move forward, I will probably trigger something. Whatever this is. I could try to wait for them to find me. Zero guarantee that will actually happen. Okay, let's just try to move here and see if that triggers anything. No, it didn't. Okay, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's just move Roar up here then. Since we didn't trigger anything. I'll try to get an ambush. It might just work. It would be nice if it did. Depends on whether it's a stationary pod or a patrol. Not a problem. Still nothing. Okay, so steady weapon. This is a good thing though, because I can actually set up here. Yeah, cover is a bit of a problem, like this is not a valid spot. But oh well, I'm just glad we got high ground to begin with. Yeah, we can scout ahead with the Templar or so on the next turn. Lutherion. I'm just going to heal myself here. We'll still have one more charge and I'll feel safer with 13 health as opposed to 8. They have to be right on the other side of this thing. I think that's what's going on. Okay, we got them. Let's see what this is. Yep. Oh yeah, the Omega. Right. 
Uh, I don't have the frost bomb anymore, but I do have uh, the sealed on roll. Yeah, with frostbite. Uh, too far away right now. That is a pretty nasty group. This is basically all of the remaining enemies. Not sure how I feel about that, but all right. I still have my flashbang. Probably good moment to use it. Yeah, definitely a good moment to use it. On what though? Well, either on these two mutants on this side, or this group on this side. Probably this side. That way we'll hit the Berserker as well. Do I want to stay over here though? I should be okay in theory, and I have Blade Storm. So that should work. Okay, let's flashbang. I want to freeze the Berserker, so now we can get it to move towards us. Where's Cookies? Right here. Okay, he is in range. We could try chain shot. That would be a lot of damage. Okay, let's try chain shot on the Omega. Let's go. Knives hit. One more. There it is. Okay, good. So now we should get Blade Storm. Hopefully. Yes, we will. Nice. That was exactly the plan. Good. Mind you, he can still hit me, but he's disoriented. Okay, now I can freeze it. I just need to hit. No, I don't have line of sight. I would have to move. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Oh, that's super unfortunate. Really? I would have to drop to the low ground and give up steady weapon. That's really unfortunate. Wow. Okay, that's bad. So much for that plan. I wish I still had a grenade, but alas, I do not. I don't want to kill the Ballistarius. That's the Muton with the rocket. That would be bad news. Definitely. Yeah, we have to kill the Ballistarius. There's no way I'm leaving him alive. No shot. Okay, that will take care of him. And we got her trigger, very nice. Uh, hammer shot, perhaps. That's a knockback. All right, sure. We killed him. Now, this Omega. I think I might have to jump down and use Frostbite. I need Frostbite. I can go here as well. This will make me lose Steady Weapon, but I don't really have much of a choice. I want to freeze the Omega. Doesn't matter it's disoriented, I still want to freeze it. The disorient was that uh, it wouldn't hit my Templar after I shot it with Chain Shot. Or at least to decrease the likelihood of that happening. Yeah, okay, let's just move forward here. Then we can Frostbite. So that's guaranteed to land. And then we can still take a shot. Even use dual strike. I wouldn't mind killing that mutant on the left, but I don't know if I can. Maybe with the dead eye. 81%. Okay, let's try. That's the run and gun variant. What did you expect? That was a pretty good turn. And we still have Lotharion. We can shoot the shield bearer. Maybe I can kill the shield bearer. Yeah, maybe I can actually. I probably can. Just use dual strike. Go, go, roar. This should work. Yep, very nice. That was a pretty damn good turn. That was a really, really good turn. We still got the Decurion and the other Decurion, but these guys are disoriented by my flashbang earlier. 
so that shouldn't be a problem. I can still try to kill one of them with chain shot. Because why not? Yeah, that might work. There it is! It actually worked! So just one disoriented Decorion and the Frozen Omega. That shouldn't be a problem. Doesn't mean he can't hit me, yep, he still hit me. He had a 10% chance to hit me, and he still hit me. Are you actually kidding me? Fortunately, it doesn't matter, but... Yeah, that's some XCOM 1 vibes, actually. <laughs> but, alright, alright. Let's maybe use a hail of bullets on him. Sure Here. That'll do. So, hail of bullets. And then somebody else can finish the job. I can kill him with a vault or something like that, that's fine. Yeah, we're pretty much done here. Yeah, let's just blast him with the vault. These are the last two enemies on the map now. Bye-bye. And kill the Omega. This was a pretty interesting mission. It was tricky. That's what I said earlier, there are no easy missions with 20 enemies, not at this stage of the campaign, and not with the setup I'm using. Alright, we're done. Roar should be, like, few experience away from his next promotion now. So, Cookies got promoted, not sure about anyone else. Okay, just Cookies. So, cyclic fire. What's this? Last wish. Once per mission, upon receiving lethal damage, feign your death for two turns and heal 5 HP. Try and reconcile upon awakening. Interesting. That's kind of nice. I might just pick that up, but I have a limited amount of APs. 53 is not actually that much. So, wounded for 9 days, 11, 9. Yeah, I can live with that. Oh wait, uh, how much uh, did we get in terms of alloys and delirium? Okay, I okay, it's a lot. Yep, that's pretty much why I did it. Now we have 83 delirium and 120 alloys. That is a very, very nice haul. Now let's finish that sectopod breakdown. I don't really need the intel, I got 400. I think I'll just go to Templar HQ. Yep, get people back faster. We got six wounded soldiers. Protect the device. Yeah, I don't think we'll be doing this one. The Drome Dome. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Advent Exalted Castellan Grandmaster in a Drome Dome mission. Yeah, I think I'll pass on that. I will definitely pass on that. That's major yikes. That is bad. That is really, really bad. There's no shot I'm doing that. Oh yeah, let's check covered operations really quick. So, okay, hold on. Do I want to do anything here? Perhaps? There isn't really anything overly useful for me. Fabricate PCS, perhaps. I don't have a lot of PCSs. So that is still useful. We can maybe grab that. Uh, yeah, we can just send Emma or something. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter who's going to go here. Is anyone close to a promotion? Uh, okay, eight experience away. Let's send Dom, I guess. He's already a lieutenant. Just checking the gear. Alright, I still have Advent Disguise here. Same thing for Dom. And Holographic Disguise. Uh, give them Advent Disguise. So that will take 14 days. It will take a while, but whatever we get might be useful for the final mission still. And for some other missions as well. Now, let's finish that sectopod breakdown. I want my Gremlin Mark III. Okay, mission with the Lost, delay stiletto rounds, and get a kernel assault. Yeah, I might do that. 
I wouldn't mind decountering this one. Because that can be a little bit annoying. The bleeding effect can be annoying. And this actually looks like an easy mission, just the lost in this one. So this should actually be nice and quick. And we'll get another kernel out of it. I think then my roster will be full. Yep, that will be 55 out of 55. However, that's going to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching all the way to the end, I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, to hug the Advent Network, and I'll see you next time.